Hey everyone, today we're riding the giant dirt e hardtail. <laughs> Haven't ridden a hardtail e bike before. Haven't really ridden many e bikes full stop to be honest. But this is pretty interesting. This one, aluminium frame, 120 mil Rockshock Revelation up front. Looks cool. It's got a Yamaha motor. There's a key there to get the battery out. Plus tyres, Maxxis Forecaster 2.8. Now this is really interesting because I don't know if you can see this, but it's got a screen here and some buttons here. You've got a backlight so you can ride it at night. Switch it on and off here. I don't know if you can see this. Let me try and get this in. But you can switch between this button here off eco basic active sport and power and that's how much assistance the battery provides 89 percent battery left your range 48 kilometers very clever a mini computer built into the bike really really clever i'm impressed so far well, i haven't ridden it yet We've got Shimano SLX brakes, large frame, very cool. That's a big old chain ring at the front. Um, I don't know how much it weighs, but it feels really, really heavy. Um, I haven't picked up an e-bike that heavy before. The Turbo Levo seemed quite a bit lighter than this, and that was a dual suspension, whereas this is a hardtail. Now, let's see, let's see. Maximum softness. I'm just going to put it in power mode. Seat post up, and we're off. So the first thing I notice is it's got a lot of power. Probably a little bit more than the Turbo Levo, but it's noisy, really noisy. It's actually really powerful, Jesus. It's catching me out. Uh, it also has a feature on here, if you're walking with your bike, you can press a button and the bike will go alongside you without you pushing it up to four kilometers an hour. We're getting lazy guys, aren't we? We are getting lazy. This is really powerful. I'm actually changing down a gear to keep up with the motor. Let's go down, um, what we got here? Let's go down to basic noticeably harder eco the range on eco has gone up to 114 kilometers off uh, obviously yeah okay oh, I don't like that anymore eco 114 kilometers basic 96 active 78 sport 61 power 48 kilometers left Seems like an excessive amount of settings to me. Uh, it's great to have some options, but that uh, seems excessive. But I actually think I could pull a wheelie on this accidentally. Jesus, it catches, this is really powerful, really noisy. I'm sure you can probably hear that. Uh, this is fun. I think plus tires are the way forward on hard tails now. If I ever get a hard tail again, it will be a plus bike. <laughs> Actually, power mode is too easy. Way too easy. I think you'd probably use power mode if you had an excessive level of battery left and you were absolutely shattered and you needed to get back to your car or your house. Let's, uh, let's knock it down a peg. Uh, sport. Feels pretty similar. Active. Yes, I am active. Yeah, that's a nice, that's a nice balance. I've just noticed that the dropper post, 
which I assume is a giant one, yeah, it's got giant on the lever, is in the most ridiculous place I think I've ever seen, which is over here. And I have to stretch quite a long way to get to that, and it's not the nicest lever. I assume that's because of this computer thing. Now, I'm sure you could do a better job than that. Thank you. Thank you. Full power for the overtaking manoeuvre. I do feel bad going past people uphill on an e-bike. Clearly, this is an e-bike for the noise it's making, but get over it. <laughs> right. Give Scorpion a go on the e-bike. I'll put it into uh, eco mode today. Oh my, this feels harsh. What I do notice is the, the pedals what do you call them? The cranks, that's what the word I'm looking for. <laughs> the cranks on this must be really short because I'm hardly turning. I feel like the bike's really small, like I'm hardly moving my feet. Really weird. Uh, it's really weird doing this on a hardtail. I've never done this before. It feels really harsh, even with the plus tyres. Nice though. Even on eco modes, I can feel the modes are doing quite a lot. I think this bike's a large, it does feel a bit small. <laughs> really, really harsh. Oh, I can see my wrists and arse hurting on this. Oh, God, oh Christ! feels harsher than my Norco Charger at home. You can really, even with the electric motor, you can really feel the weight of this thing. <laughs> oh my god. I wouldn't be surprised if I just burst a rear tyre there. Um, this is sort of unfair to compare this to the Turbo Levo as it's a hardtail but it doesn't feel anywhere near as advanced as the Turbo Levo. I'm not having as much fun on this and that's not because it's a hardtail. I'm still having great fun, don't get me wrong. Right, we're on Eco, 107 kilometers left. That's going down quite quickly. What would be really clever, and I'm sure will happen in bikes in a few years, is that when you're not pedaling and the bike's moving, it actually charges the batteries. Woo! <laughs> oh, so harsh on that back tire. The bars on this feel really, really narrow. Too narrow. <sighs> nice and poppy though, that's one good thing about hardtail. Yeah, really narrow bars. Stem distance, probably like 60 mil. Not too bad, feels okay. Yep, I thought I would. Shit! Is that a demo bike? No, no. <laughs> How did you do that? Over the bars. Fuck, you're right. Yeah, all good. Ah, bollocks. <laughs> as soon as I hit something, I thought that, that felt pretty harsh. Oh, look, I've dent the rim. Uh, ooh. <laughs> no, this is. Uh, this isn't going to seal, it's come off the bead. I ain't going to get it back on the bead with that thing. Yeah, you need one of those canisters. Yeah. So we're walking back now. Yep. 
What's your name, mate? Denzel. Denzel, nice to meet you. <laughs> so I'm on the dirt E, and uh, this is what I've done to it. <laughs> so I was only on it five minutes. Let's have a look at this. There's a big dent there. So there's a feature on this to walk back, which, no, that's not pushing itself along. <laughs> it's supposed to push itself along. Oh my goodness. Anyway, I'm sure I'm capable of pushing a bike. But uh, yeah, this, this is the uh, 2013 rain, and uh, he's completely buckled his front wheel. So we're walking back now, and uh, it's not looking good for Giant here, is it? <laughs> <laughs> oh well, my hero has arrived. <laughs> that was a long walk back. If it will go on, because they're normally pretty good, Giant. With a, they say as long as you're all right, because it's not a shop; it's the actual. It's just a tube. It's the actual giant. Oh, it thing. is the actual giant. Yeah, so they should be all right. Oh, this where they're right. Uh, shit, how's this going to go on? That is just about on. <laughs> Thank you very much. No yeah. problem at all. Disaster has struck. Uh, the, the got a flat. The, oh. the, the, I went oh. over I a little it was something more sinister. No, I went over a little jump, and I think the back wheel landed on a root, and it's uh, got a little buckle in it, and it just couldn't seal. Uh. There, right by the valve, oh, actually. That rim is Ooh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. No. So, uh, yeah, sorry about that. That's all right. <laughs> <laughs> Fix that. <laughs> How can we yeah. hammer it? Great bike though. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.